Hi guys, this is me, it's Eddie's World. Thank you so much for still being subscribed and staying here. Um, I really appreciate it. I really, really love you for staying with me. I am the most inconsistent person in the world. I make excuses every time. <sighs> Whatever. Um, anyway, this is just going to be um, an update from what I used to do in the, well, something I did before. Um, this is an update from my, I guess, very, very old pipe cleaner curls video. Um, I know I did one about, I want to say three years ago now, back when I was in Boston, my first apartment. So that was 2000 and maybe 12. Um, so it's been a minute and so my hair has grown a lot and the basic idea of pipe cleaners still the same you guys still know what that is um, but in case you don't this is how I do mine um, so pretty much I have a rubber band I section off my hair I do the back first that way I can reach everything and then I do the top um, I use water and this so this is um, the Loda body setting lotion this is available at any beauty shop. I always just go to beauty shops and just grab a big tall one. I mean, this is not that tall, but this lasts me for a long time because you dilute it with water. Um, so when it's diluted, I put it in here or I dilute it in here. And this is really great because the spray isn't just like a concentrated, like, you know, it's more kind of spread out. So I spray this, you know, from the root to kind of the, um, ends of my, I guess the tips of my hair. I try not to get my scalp though because I find that if I get the solution on my scalp, my scalp gets itchier faster, hence I wash my hair faster and you know, this is all gone in like a week. Um, so you know, this is kind of what I do, same thing as I usually do. In terms of pipe cleaners, this is the same, the same pipe cleaners from 2012, I just, I keep things. Um, you know, so this is kind of, these are just three of them, but you guys know what pipe cleaners are. Um, I just bent them and twisted them into each other. That way they're not so super long because I don't necessarily need them that long. And I will use the purple one to show you um, that I pretty much just take two at a time. So I'm going to pull two out. I take two at a time. I, you know, get it wet, of course. Start from the end. And then I just you know, roll some of my hair. Can you see? Roll some of my hair. And then I fold this part so it doesn't come undone. And I keep rolling and rolling until I get to the base. I try not to do them on top of each other because I find that the ones inside do not dry. So I always prefer to roll it, you know, so they're not on top of each other, like I said. And then when you get to the top, you just bend this one at the top and it stays. Mine aren't all black so I never, I don't have the guts to wear this out. I will look crazy. I will insert a picture of me with my entire head done. I look toe up from the flow up. But um, so I do this. Um, I have my trusty dryer. Um, I dried it a little bit. Tried not to disturb my roommates because I was doing this at like midnight. Um, just dried it for a little bit. That way my pillow doesn't get damp. Um, I knew I was going to be in bed for about seven hours. I you know, so it will air dry, like the rest of it will pretty much air dry. Um, and luckily for me, the vent uh, for my AC is right on top of my head. The whole thing dried out. I woke up in the morning, touched it, um, added, like actually used the dryer a little bit again just to make sure, you know, I got everything. Um, really, it's not about the hair being dry. It's about how long your hair stays wrapped up. That's really what gets in the curl, uh, curl pattern. Um, so my hair stays wrapped up all night, so about seven hours, um, and this is it. So it just kind of does that, so you can see the spiral. If you want it super, super curly, you can leave it on longer. I find that, and this I complained about this back when my hair was even shorter, it shrinks my hair. Imagine this with like this much locks, like my hair just kind of shrunk in and it was like poofy and I looked like I had a fro and I didn't know how to style it, I was very frustrated, so... Um, that's kind of the problem with that. So, you know, this morning I was going to work and I honestly, I just have a hair band in. It's just one of those general ones. And that's it. I, you know, took this, I flipped it and tucked it under the hair band. That's it. So I'm just going to turn around so you can see what my hair looks like. Actually, just to be kind of, just to actually show you what it looks like, I will, I have one hair pin in here. So taking these off. 
And this is it. So I'm going to turn around so you can see. It kind of has that. Alright, so I'm hoping this camera was zooming in and out of focus. Um, but I'll turn around once again so you can just see how curly it is. Okay. One thing to note about my hair, yes it's longer, but I have some problems. Um, <laughs> when my parents come into town, I usually do something to hide my locks. You guys, I think I might have said that a while ago. So sometimes I do braids. And for some reason I was watching, um, I don't know if you guys know Adana and David, their channel. Um, so Adana had this thing, the Marley braids, and they looked so good. I was like, oh girl, I need to get those. And so I bought 10 packs of Marley hair and braided my hair into it and did the twists just how she showed in the video. I will link it because you need to see it. It's fabulous on her. It works best with loose hair, okay? Because I had all these locks trying to hide them under and then wrap all this hair around. By the time I was done, by the way, it took me longer than my yarn braids. It took me like two days. By the time I was done... My head was so heavy, I couldn't sleep. I had a headache when I went to work. It was like, you know, it was down to, I don't even know, I'm going to say like this long. I couldn't pull it all into a ponytail because it was too thick. Um, I got compliments from random strangers, but I just felt untidy. And I was working at like, in like a service industry, so at a hotel, a very prestigious hotel. And I didn't want to walk around, you know, in my uniform, not uniform uniform, but like corporate attire with like weird braids down to my butt. Like it was just, it didn't look good. I'm telling you, I took those out in about three days. <laughs> it was kind of sad. I, you know, spent all day taking, putting them on and then two, three days later I was done. I took everything out, just cut it all out, just done but um when i had the braids in i had to burn it because part of the style you'll see in her video is to burn it so you don't have edges everywhere just kind of you know i guess spewing out is that the word i'm looking for um you're supposed to burn them and you just kind of rub them together so i think when i did that i might have burnt my own hair i don't know <laughs> but whatever it is um these two bad boys right here are not the same can you see the length difference this is shorter than this one, see? This is how much difference there is. I don't know, can you see this? Yeah, that's not good. You know, I don't know what cut this, but I will come closer so you can see. It's really like, mm, I don't know, the end just doesn't look complete. It doesn't look like a sealed bud. It just kind of looks loose. So I don't know if somehow, maybe in taking out the braids, I messed up my own hair, but somehow this is much longer than this. So I'm not thrilled with that. Um, there's a few in the back that are similar like that, that are not completely closed. They're now kind of being repaired, but I think I messed it up. So I've decided no more weaves, and I did do a weave with all of this hair. She had a net and she like tucked it in. Anyway, no more weaves, no more braids. I'm just gonna let my hair do what it does, and you know, it is what it is. Um, so once again, this is my hair. This is... I guess I started my locks in 2010, so I guess it's about three, going on four years maybe, yeah, three and a half to four years. Um, I don't even remember my anniversary anymore, I'm going to have to go through my own videos and see when I came on and actually talked about getting locks, because that's how I know how long they are, but I keep saying three and a half years, um, but lengthwise, let's see. You know, like I said, this is how long this one is, so that's to here. In terms of the back, this is how long that is. So I will say, okay, so I, if my neck is straight, I don't have, uh, let's see, let's see. So if I'm up here. So it's not quite bra strap length. But someday I will get there. <laughs> um, but until then, yeah, so this is kind of what's up. This is what's going on with me. Um, if you have any questions and concerns, comments, um, not insults, <laughs> let me know. And if you have anything you want to see from me, um, let me know as well. If there's, you know, because 
I'm really just doing this to kind of for my own records I guess so I can see what my journey was um, and maybe someday I'll take bits of all my videos and make them into a nice lock journey video like you know so far um, but yeah just let me know if you have any comments if there's something you'd like me to film about um, for now this page is kind of Danny's world it's gonna be me vlogging it's gonna be me doing a lot of talking maybe I'll do a hairstyle tutorial I promised it in the past that never came through so <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.